How's it going fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? Is it even a surprise anymore that we are talking about prospects again with how good Eisenman's drafting has been? Today we are talking about 6 foot 1, 172 pound second round draft selection from the 2020 NHL draft. One that certainly had a name for being rough, but having some quality skill. I believe someone actually called him Cross Chicanis. He sort of had the same reputation as Bertuzzi had back in 2013 when the Wings selected him. Regardless, I'm sure by now you know we are talking about Cross Hannes. But before we get too far in today's video, I want to give a shout out to Lucas Donnan. We hit the 1000 subscriber mark a little bit ago and want to start thanking you guys for making the Rebbing Nation community a community. So if you want to get a shout out, make sure you subscribe and join lots of other great fans of this team and sport. So, we will get to the highlights that really made Hannes' name known to many fans. But first, let's bring up his play. Before he was drafted during the 1920 season, the Texan native recorded 49 points in 60 games played, playing with the Portland Winterhawks, which, yes, I know, not the prettiest logo. But he spent the entirety of his WHL career in Portland. It's fair to say he had his scouts watching him, and I'm sure a number of teams ready to jump at selecting him. But he was still considered a very raw talent, especially considering Hannes pulled off the Michigan before, twice actually, before being drafted. If that doesn't tell you the skill Hannes has, I don't know what will. The only thing is while it's great he can pull the move off in games, you still have to be able to be defensively responsible and produce offense more than just one way. Hannes currently is third on his team in scoring this season with the two ahead of him playing three more games than him. His 30 points, which are majority assists, you can see 21 assists to his nine goals. He also does own a plus three, which isn't great for being a top scorer, but it does rank him ninth on the team. He also does get feisty and can rack up penalty minutes. This season, he has much less penalty minutes than last season, so defensively, he needs some ironing out. Offensively, he doesn't score tons of goals, but when he does, they're usually really pretty. He does need to work on his shot, especially if he wants to make it to the NHL. Passing, well, passing-wise, it's Hannes' world, and we are just living in it. He also completed the Zegers alley-oop assist, but even just his plays at the Prospect Tournament, you can see he has really good handles and playmaking ability. You can check out the video we made about the Prospect Tournament, where we kind of broke down the plays that happened throughout the games. This is Hannes' last season of junior eligibility, so he will have to find a new place to lace up the skates. Naturally, the best guess would be in Grand Rapids with the Griffins. He'll have to sign an entry-level contract with the Detroit Red Wings, which likely will happen after his season wraps up. Then, realistically, he's maybe one to two seasons from pushing for a real spot in the Detroit Red Wings lineup once he makes his way into the Grand Rapids system. What do you guys think of Cross Hannes? Is he going to be a good NHL star? Is he top six potential? Let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed to be a community of Red Wings fans that can come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. That way we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you are a Red Wings fan, if you are a hockey fan, if you are just a great person, make sure you subscribe and join lots of other great fans of this team at sports. And until next time, lights out in the red light district.